Hey, and I'm going to show you how to use the buck button hook fastener today. Um, we're going to go through a little tutorial of how to use it, and then I'm going to talk a little bit more about it and who's going to benefit from this instrument. Um, first of all, it looks kind of like this. They definitely have different versions of it out there, but um, it's mainly just a wide handle so that you can have a really good grasp on it, and then it's got this buck button hook. Um, some of them also have the zipper pull, which is just a hook as well, but we're not going to go over that today. Um, we're just going to go over this button hook. So first off, you're going to use it, I'm left-handed, so you're either going to use it in your left hand or your right hand. Today I'm going to show you a lefty, so sorry for those people that are right-handed. Um, mainly you're just going to make sure that this is completely out of the um, handle, and you're going to slip it through your first button hole. You're going to push the button through the large part and slide it down to the small part to fasten it and ensure that it's in there. And then all you do is pull through the hole and let go. It's as simple as that. So then you can do the second one. So you're just going to go through the hole with the entire um, hook part. You're going to go around the button with the large part, ensuring that that button's fully in there. Slide it down to the small part so it has a really good grasp on it. And you're going to pull through. And then make sure you go to back to that big part and pull out. And then you're going to just do it all the way down your shirt, just like this. And it's really simple, makes it really great for those that um, aren't able to use their fine motor skills. Um, for the population that this might benefit are those with decreased fine motor skills and functioning in their hands. Um, this might be patients with arthritis, this might be um, people that have suffered from a stroke and have um, limited ability to use their fine motor skills and then also those with TBIs, and it affects their um, fine motor in their the cerebellum portion of their brain was affected from that TBI. Um, mainly, this is a really cheap device. They range from about $4 to $20, but you can get them at any um, store, or you can check online. There's lots of places online if you just search for one, and then you can also look at your OT or PT and rehab facility and they can hook you guys up with um, any part of this device. Thanks so much.